Hey guys, it's Darko Cyclone FPV, and I'm doing the new series on the Free Sky setups for radios and receivers, all of them. So uh, we're on part three now. Now, part three, part one, we did the downloading of the OpenTX. Part two, we did the uh, 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 installing of your basically a setting up your radio settings in the OpenTX, and we download the SD card contents. Now, part three, we're actually going to be configuring the SD card, and I've done this before, so I'm going to give you a heads up right now. I'm going to show you at the beginning of this video, if you have a card that's larger than a 16 or 32 gig SD card, I'm going to show you how to partition that down in Windows so that you can use it in your FreeSky radio because there is a limitation there on what you can use. I actually got, I was finished using uh, somebody's uh, and they had a 32 gig and it apparently worked. But in this video, I'm going to show you how to do it with a 16 gig. If you have a 32 gig, you're more than welcome to test it out. Just understand right now, this first like few minutes is going to be how to partition this using Windows so that it can be read in a free sky radio. Okay. So if you don't want to see that, then just kind of fast forward a little bit and you'll get to the rest of it. Okay. So here's what happens. So if you have a bigger memory card and a lot of people do like 64, 128 or so forth, the radio is not going to read that. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to take this SD card and put it in your computer and you're going to want to format it and partition it down and format it so that it works in your radio. And I'm going to show you how to do that. So if you were watching part two, this is what our screen looked like when we stopped right here. Here, okay, we just got done doing the folders uh, for our firmware folders and stuff on our SD card. So I'm always going to start where we left off last, so we're not like having to figure out where we're at. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take this card, and I've got a little USB reader here, right? And I'm going to put this SD card inside my USB reader. I always put it in backwards. Put it in like this, okay? And I'm going to insert it into the computer right there. And you're going to see it pop up here in a second, okay? There's my stuff right here. Now, this is an old card, but it had, S it had stuff on it here. So here's what I'm going to do. I want, if something pops up, I don't care. Here's our point. What I, what you can do right now is you can close all the windows, right? Just get down to your desktop. Then I want you to right click on your start button in the bottom left. And I want you to left click on run and I want you to type control. When you type control, click okay. Okay. There it is, right? Now you can expand this to be full screen. Then I want you to go to administrative tools. Okay. Click it once and it opens up. Then I want you to go to computer management. You can click that twice. And from there, you're gonna have this screen here and I want you to go to disk management and just click on it once, okay? Now, if you, no matter what you've got, now this I had already partitioned, you can see there's 42 gigs unpartitioned, but no matter what you have, here's what I want you to do. I want you to find the partitions here. This is the removable disk, mine is a 64 gig. Find yours, it's the removable disk. Find the blue area, right, that says it's, it's the partition volume. Right click on it and click delete volume, click yes, okay? Basically, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to make it to where you have all of this that says unallocated. So there's no blue. It's all black and it says unallocated. At that point, I want you to right click on anywhere in this white area. And I want you to click left click on new simple volume. <coughs> and then you'll have this simple volume wizard. Click next. Sometimes you'll click next and nothing will happen. Click next again just in case. Okay. Now it's going to ask you the simple volume size and it's going to allocate the full thing, which is what we don't want. Just make it 16 gig. That's it. So put 16000, then click next. And it's going to assign the volume letter, whatever letter it is, that's fine. Make sure it says that. Next. And then when you format it, make sure you format it. Sometimes it'll pop up automatically to NTFS. Don't do that. Leave it at FAT32 and leave the volume as new volume. Don't change anything and let it do a quick format. So again, format, FAT32, default, new volume, perform quick format, click next. Then click finish. Okay. Now what's going to happen here is the computer is going to automatically allocate the right size for you so that it can be read. And you're going to see this new window open up right here, new volume E and this new volume E, which you can see on the left, this is a 16 gig volume. Okay. At this point, everybody who didn't have to resize their uh, SD cards, this is where we're all going to get. So now what you want to do, let's go ahead and close all the windows, get back to our desktop because that's where our transmitter folder is. So let's go ahead and double click on our transmitter folder. And then let's go ahead and double click on our, our, our radio folder, which in this case is the QX7S for me. And then you see this SD card contents folder right here, right? This has everything that we need in it right now. Here's what I want you to do. I want you to double click on it till it opens. You see all the contents inside, right? I want you to highlight everything. Make sure you highlight all the files, including the version file. They're all highlighted. I want you to right click on them and I want you to left click on copy. Then I want you to go to the, to the side here on your computer and go to the drive that's titled new volume, 
left click on it, go anywhere here where it's blank, right click, and then left click on paste. And what we're doing is we're jumping ahead here. We're just going to have it copy faster while it's attached like this than it does if it was on the radio doing the update, okay? So once we're done with this, you now have all your SD card contents on your new SD card file, and you're golden. This is the most, this is the most key factor to setting up your radio properly, okay? Once it's done, and you see new volume E, and you've got everything here, you can close that. Then I want you to go down to your uh, uh, USB safely remove icon. I want you to left click on it, and then I want you to find the new volume and right click, or sorry, yeah, left click here. When it comes up, where it says eject new volume, click it. It automatically is safe to remove, and I want you to take your SD card. Let me get mine out. I want you to take it out of the drive. Your SD card is now ready to go into your radio. That is going to end it for this section, part three. Part four, when we come back, we are now going to put the, have the card in the radio. We're going to put the radio into the computer, and we're going to get this all set up properly so we have no problems at all. All right? So I'll see you guys in just a little bit.